Welcome to our lecture online. We're now ready to summarize how to turn a decimal into a fraction. If you have one decimal place, you want to write it as a fraction divided by 10. If it's two decimal places, you want to write it as a fraction divided by 100. And if you have three decimal places, you want to write it as a fraction over 1,000. Simply remove the decimal point and write it as a fraction either over 10, over 100, or over 1,000. Here we have 0 0.2, which is one decimal place. That means we're going to write it as 2 over 10. And then we can simplify that, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, which means it's 1 divided by 5. So 0 0.2 is the same as 1 fifth. Here again, we have one decimal place. We're going to write it as a fraction with 10 as the denominator. We get rid of the decimal place. This becomes 35 divided by 10. And we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5, which means this can be written as 7 divided by 2. Therefore, 3.5 is the same as 7 divided by 2 in fractional form. Here we have three decimal places, which means we're going to write this as a fraction divided by 1,000. Get rid of the decimal point. 108 divided by 1,000. Now, both the numerator and the denominator is even, which means we can divide them both by 2. 108 divided by 2 is 54, and 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. They're still even. We can continue. 54 divided by 2 is 27, and 500 divided by 2 is 250. Now, they're no longer even, uh, and 27 is divisible by 3, but 250 is not, so therefore that's as low as we can go. 4.24, we have two decimal places here, therefore write it as a fraction over 100. We get rid of the decimal point, we write 424 divided by 100. Divide both the top and the bottom by 2, we get 212 divided by 50. We can do it again, that means 106 divided by 25. And at this point, this is no longer even, and we can no longer divide anything. I think that's as low as we can go there. Here we have three decimal places, so we write as a fraction divided by 1,000. Get rid of the decimal point, 20,125 divided by 1,000. We can see that they're both divisible by 5. That means we can write this as 4,025 divided by 200. They're both still divisible by 5. This can be written as 805 divided by 40. Still divisible by 5, this can be written as 161 divided by 8. And that would be the final answer, assuming I did not make any mistakes, dividing by 5. Let's see here, that looks like it's correct, looks like it's correct. I think that is a correct answer. All right, that's the technique, however, if you have a decimal, and you want to convert it to a fraction, notice how many decimal places you have. If it's 1, you write it as a fraction divided by 10. If it's 2, you write it as a fraction divided by 100. If it's 3, you write it as a fraction divided by 1,000, and then you simplify, and that's how it's done.